Well, we made it back home alive, at least, and the girls pretty much are alive, so that's good. Still a little bit warm here, so I think we've we've had a few casualties. I think we've got this box a little bit too full, but anyway, that's life in the fast lane. Live and learn. We've picked up a few hitchhikers along the way because we had to go down to one of the other apiary sites, and these girls decided that they could smell all this honey and thought, fuck yeah, and they're into it. So they're all a bit honey drunk at the minute. They've had a little bit of a suck on the honey and gone, woohoo. Some of them obviously got blown off because we got the truck open, but anyway, we thought we'd better get them un unboxed and boxed up properly. This has got the bit of brood comb in this one, so we'll just take that over there first. And we've got a couple of empty boxes in here. And we'll just set it up and change it over and huh, go in and have a beer, I think, after this. We had a bit of a prize because I just thought they would be hanging out the hive but there was quite a lot there and they even had a little bit of brood out the front of one of them so we might as well pop that in one of these boxes. As we say here at the Bush Bee Company it's just all a journey of discovery isn't it? And you guys are along for the ride and you don't even have to get stung eh? How lucky are you? Bloody hell Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I took some footage of the girls in these rubber bands the other day after they'd settled in and they were carting them out. Pretty cool idea these rubber bands. Hicker, quicker, better and um, yeah, easier. I'll just give them a little bit of this in each box. So I don't know what we're going to do with the hitchhikers. <laughs> That's a bit of a worry isn't it? What do you reckon we do? We've got We've got a rope in the back of the ute just covered in bees, so I don't know. I've had some people comment about doing this without my gloves on, but it's near on impossible to do this part with your gloves on, so... At least with the bee sucking deal, there are not nowhere near as many bees to try and deal with, so it's quite cool. So all in all, oh, I think it's been rather, rather successful. Like I said, we weren't actually planning on having any of this, because it was supposed to just be some extensions on the outside of the house but still i'm not complaining i'm just wasn't really set up for it so we're having a bit of excitement of course if you have a close look at the footage that we took today of the actual swarm on the wall you'd notice that they're on a bit of an angle because right? the bees obviously in the wild they'll have it sort of a bit out and so as it will stay together properly but of course they don't have these bits of wood to dangle on do they i mean you know, we're giving them a bit of spoilt shit here so they can make stuff nice and straight so it makes us beekeepers' lives a bit easier. So I think it's a, I think it's a give and take situation when it comes to the bees. Like, we give them a comfy home and a nice place to eat, supply them with some water, give them somewhere safe, usually try to kill the blooming mongrel things that are trying to kill them because we want them to live, we want the bees to live. So, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off. I mean, it's probably not perfectly natural, but Hell, if you tried to make it perfectly natural, it wouldn't be bloody beekeeping, would it? Ah, it's change, change, it's time for a change. That was a labour song, actually, if you're wondering, but anyway, you would never have heard that unless you were an Australian. Anyway, what did I say? We've sucked your asses off the wall, and now we're going to put you in a box after all. You're a poet <laughs> and you didn't know it. I reckon we'll do this one first, eh? Do this one and the other one, and then we'll figure out that one in a minute. <laughs> they might as well have these in a way. <laughs> Our little hitchhikers. <laughs> There's lots of bees there waiting to come out. And hopefully they decide to stay in it, right? this little few in here. I've got a nuke box over there that we're going to put that stray queen in in a minute. 
Well, I think we'll just tip these on top of there because otherwise these angry little turds will kill those poor bastards over there. And then we'll pop a queen in here, so hopefully they all hang around, but anyway, we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Otherwise the neighbours are going to be really pissed off because they're going to have a whole heap of swarmed up, pissed off bees up their ass. shift lid on this one because our tin fell in so we might have to redress that problem but anyway that was all good just as well I was rough and actually used some tins to bolster up me pots in me in me box anyway here we go oh shit they're trying to go for it holy shit boys and girls oh my goodness <laughs> I think that's a box of bees <laughs> Put it out where we're going to get that out of there. Woo! Put the lid on here for a minute. Oi, oi, everybody stay in the box. They're like, fuck off, that's not a wall. Angle's all wrong, dude. <laughs> now that I think I've really pissed them off. And I don't reckon that'd be mine. I'm glad to go away, puppy dog. Just be, eh? They're over there. Don't eat the bleed, you dickhead. <laughs> anyway. It's a bad idea, Lightning. Don't do it. Don't do it. You'll get a sore tongue. No. Go away, you idiot. Oh, my goodness. That's a silly beekeeper's dog. <laughs> Don't. You'll get, your, you'll get a swollen tongue, you rabbit. <laughs> anyway, I'll get the queens and we'll pop them in there. And then, um, hopefully, they decide to stay. But who knows? This is all, like I said, this is all a journey of madness. So these are the queens that I thought we'd give them. Um, do they obviously being on the outside of the house they didn't have a queen well I hope they didn't have a queen otherwise it's going to be a waste of money and they're a little bit shitty ass so it'd be good if they aren't and we might just we'll just lay her in there and hopefully it'll take them a little while to eat her out if you mind as you put them in the, that spacer bar like these frames have got that little spacer bar as long as you put her out there I mean she's got a nice hole here anyway but you put her out there a bit on the edge of the spacer bar jamming up well then she's still got plenty of air to, they can get to her anyway you can't tip bees straight on the ground because otherwise as soon as they get dirt and crap all over them it freaks them right out and they'll they'll die so you've got to try and keep them clean obviously because they're a flying creature well hopefully the fact that we actually have a little bit of um, brood comb and a bit of honey that they can source they'll think oh yeah this is our nice new home and they'll move in because I mean of course if they haven't got a leader and she doesn't say to stay, they just as like to bugger off. So, and if they do bugger off, well, they're screwed because they're going to have nothing. So, hopefully, they don't. Hopefully, they decide to stay and hopefully, they take on to the new queen. And in a month or so, just before the winter gets excited, we'll have um, some nice little boxes of bees off of the house.